Welcome back to week three, day two of Summer Steam. Today we're going to learn how our immune systems use antibodies to fight off pathogens, which are bacteria, viruses, and other microorganisms that can cause disease. For this activity, you will need one worksheet that you will fill out as you go, one pair of scissors, one pencil, three pieces of one inch by one inch magnetic tape, one marker, some plastic wrap that we wrapped around paper so it won't cling to itself, three twist ties, half a cup of salt secured by a makeshift lid, and half a tablespoon of iron fillings, which is two parts fine grain and one part coarse.
body's immune system can protect us from the invasion of pathogens. The immune system is made up of specialized organs, cells, and tissue that all work together to destroy invaders. The immune system's reaction to an invading pathogen is called the immune response. When the immune system fights an invader for the first time, it is called a primary immune response. If the same pathogen has attacked before, it is called a secondary immune response. This is done by specialized cells in our bloodstream called white blood cells. There are different types of white blood cells that all help destroy the pathogen. Some of them produce antibodies, which are specifically designed to bind or attach to one type of pathogen. Once the antibodies bind to the pathogens, other types of white blood cells take over and destroy them. It is important for our immune system to differentiate pathogens from the regular cells in our body. This is why antibodies are specifically designed to attack only one type of pathogen. Antibodies function similar to a lock and key system. They can only bind to pathogens that have a marker that matches up perfectly. This way, only the targeted cells will be destroyed and the good cells are ignored. However, sometimes this system fails, causing autoimmune diseases in which the immune system attacks our own body. We just created a model of the immune response where the cup represents the human body, the salt represents human cells, and the iron fillings represent many copies of the same pathogen. The human body is infected with the pathogens. Each piece of magnetic tape represents many antibodies made by the immune system to fight the pathogens. The model is not the scale because in reality, the cells would be much larger than the pathogens, which would be much larger than the antibodies. Normally, many antibodies bind onto a single pathogen.